One of my favorite things to do is to take visual notes or visually record conferences or meetings that I go to. It's a way for me to stay actively engaged and attentive and really focused on what people are saying. Um, and over the past couple of years, I've done it, and it's really turned into a conversation where I am able to quickly display um, my initial perceptions and some of the things that I heard the presenter say, uh, and it's a way to, and then they'll have a conversation back either through Twitter or commenting on, on my Flickr post or my blog, or they'll blog about it themselves uh, as a way of... Um, summarizing the talk that they did and it's been really great. I'm always really excited to engage directly with a presenter because the reason I was taking notes is because they're saying some really interesting things so um, it's great to be able to have that opportunity to have that conversation. I want to tell you about one time that this happened with um, when I went to University of Guelph teaching and learning conference and uh, Steve Brookfield was the keynote speaker and I did the visual notes and I tweeted it out and I didn't hear anything back from him, but I did, you know, got a lot of positive responses. Um, Natasha Kenny, who I really respect, who's an educational developer at, at Guelph, she, she used it in her reflection, which was really great. And, um, you know, and a lot of people visited, I got a lot of hits on, on my Flickr and a lot of comments and favorites, and it was really nice. Um, but then three months later, out of the blue... I got a Steve Brookfield uh, tweeting me, and he asked if he could put it on his website. So he, he did. He put it on a section of his website, and he even said that he was considering using it in the next edition of Becoming a Re Critically Reflective Teacher, which kind of blows my mind to think that would be in print in there because those books line the shelves of my teaching center and are required texts in many courses that um, I've taken, and now I know that are being offered at my school. So um, it was it was quite an honor. And then more recently, like kind of a cool, the world is a really small place. Uh, my friend and colleague, Tim Owens, was who is doing his master's at George Mason University, was having an introduction to Stephen Brookfield. And the presenter actually used my drawing as, as an introduction. And to, to think that I could somehow be so closely affiliated with Stephen Brookfield is an honor and humbling and really amazing. So that's my true story.